Hi, welcome on into this iRacing video where I'm going to show you how I fix my Logitech G29 issue, which is also going to be applicable to the G920 variant. Um, so the problem was it would forget my brake mapping. Uh, throttle and clutch seemed fine, but the percentage of my brake would be incorrect every time I reboot my system. Now, I didn't have this problem at all. Uh, a friend of mine who also has these pedals had the issue. Uh, we worked together and we couldn't solve it. So just before each race or each practice session, essentially, he would um, remap the brake pedal. And a couple of videos ago, if you watch my races, I had a BMW event and I believe it was after qualifying and before the race, I had a uh, my brake pedal come race was completely wrong. Um, it was about 50% depression on the pedal was 100% in within iRacing, which was causing lockups, instability. I tried to adapt, but uh, it was quite difficult. Uh, this cropped back up again and again. And now lately I've been just, um, as soon as I fire up iRacing, remapping my brake pedal, um, and then it's fine. Once I reboot, uh, the problem pops back up again. So I thought I'd spend some time today looking to try and fix the problem. I had to look around on Google, forums, Reddit, you name it. I uh, couldn't find a fix. So I started to dive deep into all the iRacing config files and I managed to find a fix. Okay, let me fire up iRacing and show you the problem I was having. Okay, now that iRacing is open, the problem is for me is going to be here on this brake pedal. 50% brake pedal puts me way over the 100 mark. And this was a repeating problem that I realized obviously I can remap it here and that fixes it. But a reboot will bring me back to this problem. I've obviously made sure I've got used custom controls for this car ticked. So this problem plagued me. I had to make sure before um, I opened up iRacing, before I got into a session, before I started putting practice laps in and learning the car, that my calibration was correct. And it was, um, as you can imagine, causing worries and problems. So to fix the problem, you head over to your documents, iRacing folder, setups, pick the car that is in question having the problem. And you're going to see this file, the Joy Calib file. This is storing the information for the mapping for your pedals, the brake and the clutch. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. Worry not, all will be fine. Right, now it's deleted. Let's jump out of the car. And the best tip for now is open up a car you've never drove or a car where this isn't ticked. We just need to set a baseline. We need to set a new default that we're going to load in. Um, we'll get it open and I'll explain. Okay, so I've got open the very unused and unloved on my channel, Kia Optima. Uh, I purely did this because I don't have this ticked. So this is like your default settings. If you jump into a new car, this is the settings that it's going to use before you tick this and calibrate the car to how you would like it. I want you to go ahead and map the pedals. So I'll do that for you here. Throttle pedal, get it down to 100%, lift it back off, done. Brake pedal, get it down to 100%, lift off, done. Clutch the same and off and done and that's all that's all we're going to do hit done now bear with me i'm going to exit out of this car we'll load back up the bmw and see where we're at okay here we are back in the bmw i did a full full reboot just to make sure we're um this is all going to work okay i'm going to apply my brake 50 percent perfect i push the th uh, the brake all the way down but if i settle about what i think is 50 percent while staring at the camera there you go perfect so this seems to eliminate the problem. I'm not sure what causes the problem, uh, whether it's a argument between iRacing and Logitech's drivers, but doing this seems to sort it. So what have we done? We first of all identify what car it's not working in. So for me, it was definitely the BMW. Um, you delete the Joycalib file. That removes the custom settings that were trying to be applied to the car for input calibration on the three pedals. We then jumped in any car, really, any car where you're happy to just set a new a new global settings because uh, I didn't want to untick this because you're going to have to remap all your buttons and your, your visor cleaning, pit stop limiter. So just jump in a car that you've uh, not had open yet or any, any car you're happy to just reset the settings on. Reassign the pedals with the tick box left unchecked. Once that done, jump back in the originating car that had the problem, the BMW, and we should be good. Now, um, I've only been running this fix for uh, just over 24 hours now. It's been brilliant. I've tested reboots. I've um, been really happy. Now, I trawled the internet trying to find this answer. Now, this isn't my typical style of video, but 
I know the Logitech G29 and G920 is a popular choice of pedal and I hate to think anyone else is having this problem and um, wasn't able to get it fixed. So here it is. All right, if you have any problems with it, drop a uh, drop your question down in the comments or jump onto my Discord, hit me up on social media, anything really, and I'll try and get back to you and see what why is it not working for you. But other than that, like if you like this video, sub if you want to catch the next one, bell notification if you want to know when it is. Other than that, thank you very much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.